Rafaya, and welcome to Sumter. In the 1700s, thousands of Scots-Irish took off to America, taking their songs and music with them. This left a lasting legacy, as percussionist Mark Wilson has been filling it on his journey down the oil wagon road. My journey from Philadelphia down the Great Wagon Road, through Pennsylvania, into Winchester, Virginia, and on to Bristol. It's now taking me further into Tennessee. I'm just about to cross the Douglas Dam into the town of Dandridge. Throughout the United States, there are many Highland Games events and of course music festivals. One of the biggest Scots-Irish festivals is held here in Danbridge every September and is totally based around music and dance. It's organized by local man, Mark Murray. We started this music festival. This will be our fourth year and we feature exclusively Scots and Irish music and dancing. And you have a bagpipe competition and you have a Highland dancing competition. Yes, uh, we just, uh, this year we're sanctioned for Highland dancing and we've had a bagpipe competition uh, all the previous three years. And we close out our program with a lone bagpiper on top of the Dandridge Dyke. Mm -hmm. The bands that you have at your festival on a regular basis are the Thistledown Tinkers. Yes, Tripp and Tom have been with us, I think, all three previous years. And they are very well received, and we get requests for them to come back every year. So the people here like that yes, style they of do. music. Where have you been, say, bra lad? Where have you been, say, cantio? Where have you been, say, bra lad? Do you come back, Kelly Cranky, oh? And if he had been where I had been, he would not be, say, cantio. Kelly Cranky, a uh, Robbie Burns tune, and certainly you do an up-tempo version of that. It's a fairly lively, a fairly lively version. I had heard that song done as a very slow song, almost like a lament or a ballad, and um, we were looking for more songs for Tom to play the banjo on. And when we started putting it together, we we figured out it'd be a lot of fun to play it faster. And it just seems like anything related to Robert Burns ought to have some kick to it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a, a lot of Highland Games throughout the United States, but you and your wife organize one of the games in this area. Yes, the uh, operative word being my wife. Um, <laughs> I drive the truck and run errands. My wife, Donna, um, started the Mint Hill Scottish Society, and then they formed their own Highland Games, the Mint Hill Scottish Festival and, and uh, Highland Games. And we just finished our sixth year of the Mint Hill Highland Games. So it's growing every year. Yes, and it's really brought a lot of people in our area in touch with their Scottish and Irish roots. Oh, by my key, where God delight in the brush beyond the branchio. Ye better to kiss King Willie's loop than to come by Kelly Crankio. And if he had been where I had been, he would not be safe. And he had seen what I had seen on the brave kid cranky o. The connection for for Scotch Irish music here is it, it it's really in a lot of the old time music that I, it's, which precedes bluegrass even. It, there's all this great tradition of of a cappella ballads and they would just sit on the front porch like we're doing today and and just sing these ballads to their kids and they would pass them on and then eventually they started doing bluegrass and. A lot of the bluegrass songs is interesting. If, if you look at look at a, l a whole bunch of the early bluegrass, it's in the key of, of B flat. And that's an unusual key for most string instruments to play in, but 
that's where the bagpipe was in. Yeah, because yeah, B-flat's not an easy key to no, sing and do a lot of not. things in, so... Yeah. So if you're ever waltzing through Tennessee on the last weekend in September, drop in the Dandridge, check out the Scots Irish Festival, and maybe you'll catch one of the regular acts there, the Thistledown Tinkers. And we'll be joining Mark next week again as he stays on his journey down the oil wagon road.